Welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another malicious compliance Reddit video. In our first story, I'd be happy to cancel your account. Let's jump right in. If you call the Dish Network customer service and get so mad at the agent that you scream, I want to cancel my account, they transfer you to another representative. I used to be that guy. It's not as fun of a job as one might expect, what with 99% of the callers screaming at you for any number of reasons that you had no control over. So you had to find a way to keep yourself sane. I stayed near or at the top of the stats leaderboard for customers saved, so I could pull crap like this. One day, a representative had a caller who only gave him enough information to pull up his account and told him that he wanted to cancel his account. So I pulled up the customer's account and saw he'd been a customer for over 8 years, which meant he was practically VIP. But I pulled up his billing info and saw that for at least the past 2 years, the oldest records I had access to, he'd been receiving $25 off his bill every month. The amount you could discount the bill also determined how long the discount lasted. $25 only went for 6 months, so he had called in at least 4 times before this demanding to cancel his account until he got his $25 off. Now, I'm a man of principle and I don't believe a person should get rewarded for being a crappy person. So. I accept the transfer and this guy came on the phone with the TV playing in the background and being a jerk but also sounding almost bored with the game and says, cancel my account. Dish approved response, I'm sorry to hear you want to cancel your account, can I ask why you're thinking of leaving? Get a reason, make two offers to keep them around, then cancel if they still aren't willing to stick around. My response, I'd be happy to cancel your account clicked a couple buttons and his TV went absolutely silent. Then I proceeded to read the script they gave us on how to return the equipment until he shouted over me asking what I just did. I cancelled your account per your request sir. The boxes will arrive in 7 to 10 business days. Again, dude's outraged demanding I turn his TV back on. I'm sorry sir, I don't understand. Do you want me to cancel your account or not? because I can turn it back on, but I won't give you a discount off your bill, and I'll be leaving clear notes for any future representatives telling them not to give you a discount either. So, would you like me to reactivate your account, or would you rather I send out the boxes? As I expected, he told me to turn it back on. At the end, he tried again to get some sort of a discount, which I refused, and offered to downgrade his account if he wanted to save money, which he refused, and hung up in frustration. If I could have kept tabs on him, I would have, because I was curious if anyone would reapply the discount or if he would leave. A bonus is I still had a few more confirmations to go through before the account was actually considered cancelled, so the call counted as a save for my stats. Edit. And yes, I intentionally acted like a jerk, but simply because if the last person acted like a jerk, or the one before that, or the one before that, or the one before that, then I wouldn't have been on that call. Somebody needed to do it, so it was me. Story number two. My mom accuses me of forgetting her birthday. I proceed to forget her birthday every year. I posted this in r slash entitled people and someone commented that I should have also posted it here, so if you've already read it, apologies. Every year I used to make a big thing out of my mom's birthday. One year I took the entire day off. We were in the middle of a big project, delivery at work, so I worked overnight to meet my target for the day I was taking off. The year prior to that I had bought her a gold chain and a pendant with her birthstone. She returned it to the jewelers the next day as she felt the chain was too thin. I had just begun earning that year so I didn't have a lot of savings. I felt bad about her not keeping my gift even for a single day but then I thought the next birthday I would get her things she likes. I had a bouquet of orchids delivered to her. I took her out for a movie and lunch, then took her shopping where I bought her a handbag and two to three sets of footwear. I spent almost my entire salary on her. 
The next day, which happened to be a Sunday, I had off. Her friends came over and they asked how I celebrated her birthday and she goes, Oh, she didn't do anything. In fact, she came home from work at 4 a.m. I was thinking, yeah, right. I did that because I wanted to be tension free when I spent the day with you, mom. Then one of them saw the bouquet that was set as the centerpiece in the living room and asked if it was a gift for my dad or my sister. She said it was from me. Her friends were like, what else did you expect her to do? I gleefully enumerated in detail everything I did for her and she sheepishly told her friends she forgot about all those things. Not to miss a beat, I went, it was yesterday, so it's not like you didn't remember. That was the last time I did anything special for her birthday, and it was over 20 years ago. These days, I just order Chinese takeout on her birthday. P.S. Mom and I have always had a troubled relationship. She never acknowledged anything I did for her and she loves to project that I don't do anything at home or for her and dad. For years, it used to hurt me that she constantly belittles me. Then I figured out the perfect revenge. If I ever hear her belittle me, I proceed to act exactly as she advertised. So if she says I don't help with household chores, I stop doing my share. She can't even complain after that as she has already badmouthed me. Now she has to either make do without help or she has to admit that she maligned me unnecessarily. It took time to drive the lesson home and by time I mean a few years and lots of conversations where I reminded her of specific instances. She stopped her behavior but I am still not celebrating her birthday. To be fair, I don't celebrate mine either. Now please don't abuse my mother, I love her and she loves me. This is just a funny story I shared about something that happened over 20 years ago. Story number 3. Fashion Victim This was London in the late 80s. My mate and I were in IT support for a finance company. IT wasn't highly valued in those days so the brokers tended to treat us as their servants they were typical city yuppies, all filofaxes and liquid lunches. One of the brokers had a regular routine. Every morning when he got in, he'd call my mate over. It was an open plan office. The broker would have his head buried in the newspaper and casually throw down a 50 pound note on his desk and say the same thing every morning. Get me a coffee, Danish, and get something for yourself. Now a 50 pound note is the highest denomination in British currency. Shopkeepers hate them and some try hard to refuse them. Apart from anything else, giving change for a 50 can empty your registers of available change for other customers. So my mate always had a tough time getting the guy's coffee in Danish, which usually amounted to around three quid in those days. And anyway, he was a Unix admin, not a gopher. But my mate did his best and every morning would give the guy his breakfast and leave over 45 quid in change on his desk. So one morning, my mate sets out on his usual errand and leaves the guy's coffee and pastry on his desk, but no change. Just a minute, broker boy calls my mate back. Where's the change? Well, you said I should get something for myself, so I got this rather nice Ralph Lauren sweater, which he then produces from a shopping bag. What do you think of it? Broker boy looks my mate up and down, regards the sweater, nods to himself and says, fair play to you mate, fair play, and goes back to reading his paper. It never happened again. It really was quite a nice sweater. This is John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and want to be the first to know when the next one drops, then subscribe and hit that notifications bell. I'd love for you to drop a like, share it with your friends, see you in the next one.